Hey guys, we're back. <laughs> Trying to get a little more regular on these. Um, so that <laughs> the, we didn't have Lauren in a bio lane intro. I actually couldn't find her doing anything goofy for the last uh, last few weeks. So that is a that is a rarity. That was actually uh, Selena who did a who's uh, new to our gym, but uh, is, a, is a she just graduated college and she's a competitive USAPL powerlifter. And I uh, guess she was very happy with her deadlift because uh, she hit a little dance afterwards. <laughs> and little do people know, I'm spying on them in the gym. So if you're in my gym, uh, there's a chance you could be on the bio lane intro if you do something goofy. You never know. Um, so anyways, uh, this was... Um, so this day was, was squat, bench, and deadlift. This is my highest volume day of the week. So this is five sets of six with 505 on squat, only picturing... Only showing you the first and last, as is custom. Um, the these felt tough, but they moved. Um, and it's funny because they felt pretty hard, but actually looking at the video, they moved pretty smooth. So I was pretty happy with these. And we've had to get pretty aggressive on my volume um, you know normally we'd walk volume up slower but I having been out of squatting and lost so much off my squat during that time there's just a lot of ground to make up and it's kinda of daunting to think about so here's uh, five sets of six with 300 on bench there's just a lot of ground to make up and uh, like I said it's daunting to think about but all I can do is just put in the work every single day and, and and see where I am by the time worlds come up. Um, so this was 300 for five sets of six. So we've had to get pretty aggressive with the volume, um, much more aggressive jumps than we normally would with uh, you know four weeks to go to worlds at this point. Right now, as I sit uh, 10 days out from worlds, uh, recapping my training for the last couple of weeks. So I did a feet up bench on this one because my lower back was starting to give me was starting to tighten up a little bit, so I just decided, you know, I'll I'll just play it safe and, and just put my uh, put my feet up and no arch and you know just for this last set just play it safe, especially since I still had deadlift. So here's deadlifts. Um, this was 565 for sets of for three sets of six. These are starting to move um, slowly but surely. Um, they felt really weird when I first got back to them after being all, you know, off for like over three weeks. But they are starting to move, so I was pretty happy with those. Um, here's the next conservative max session. This is uh, 595. It did not move like I wanted it to. Um, it's just, you know, based on the weights I'm hitting and training and everything, it, you know, these these are are these should be easy, and it's just, you know, not. Um, so I was frustrated with that, but what are you going to do? So here's uh, the sets afterwards. I actually miscalculated, so it was supposed to do B after a conservative max, supposed to be uh, five sets of five with 82.5% of my conservative max, but I did 85%, so I did 505 for five sets of five. But these were actually moving okay. So again, I was, you know. The singles are being slow, but the reps are moving, and I think that's just a specificity thing that, you know, once you've been away from having heavy weight in your back for a while, it's hard to get back into that. Here's 360 for conservative max on bench, and uh, that felt pretty good, and uh, that was moving okay. Then uh, six sets of, this is a day, this is the third squat day of the week, six sets of three with 570. And these were pretty tough. Um, again, it's just, you know, trying to get comfortable and trying to get back in that groove has just been tough. Um, but one thing I can do is I can grind weight pretty well. So people will see me and they'll say, wow, you know, that looked like a one rep max. But in reality, I could do, you know, probably five or six with that weight if I really, really, really wanted to push it. Um, so anyways, I, I made it through this workout. I knew it was going to be tough, but I made it through. As you, as you can tell, each individual rep was tough. 
And like I said, I've, I've never really had, I mean, if, of course, you know, 500 pounds is going to move faster than 570 or 600. But I've never had reps look so good on, on that volume days and then have them look so bad on the intensity days. So I'm hoping with this two times a week conservative squat maxing, um, I'm going to see uh, some improvements in that. So here is the, uh, the third bench day of the week. I didn't get the volume work after my conservative max. This is, uh, that was um, 330 for sets of three, for five sets of three. And then here's the deadlift day, the deadlift AMRAP day. So I had 635 for uh, two sets of three and then an AMRAP. And uh, Paul was there with me and uh, you know, they, they were moving okay, um, so I was happy, and ended up getting five on my AMRAP, which is not a PR by any means, but um, it's, it's getting back to where I was. You know, again, this is just, you know, mind games with yourself. You're, I'm a month out from the biggest meet of my entire life, um, and it's just frustrating to know what I was capable of and to, to not be there. Uh, this is Paul. Paul's actually been cutting. So I don't know if he's gonna, he's not really getting ready for any shows or anything. I think he's like just cutting down and seeing where he's at, and then they're gonna decide if he wants to do some shows. But he's maintaining his strength pretty well. And so it's just it's been frustrating, um, you know. Before the Arnold, how training was going, I was really primed. I, I mean, I felt like a seventeen fifty plus total was was definitely there, and that even um, you know maybe even a. Uh, uh, an 1800 pound total if everything went perfect um, and you know I got injured the week before the meet and I was able to go and do the meet but I definitely wasn't 100% and uh, you know fortunately was able to pull out a win but you know then had some tough time so this is 610 or no this is 600 conservative max and that moved better so I was happy and then after that, I did uh, five singles with what was supposed to be 92.5%, but what I did, 95%. So I did five singles with 570, which was more than I was supposed to, but they actually moved okay. So, you know, to, to know what you're capable of and, and to, to not be able to do that, it's, it's been frustrating. Um, you know, I'm hoping it's going to be there for Worlds, uh, but... I can only do what I can do. All right, so this is into the next week. Um, gotta love the Outwork Apparel adv Lifting Advisory. <laughs> Heavy shit. I like that shirt. <laughs> so this is 510 for six sets of six. This is pretty brutal. Or I'm sorry, for five sets of six. Yeah, five, five I'm sorry. 510 for six sets of six. That is correct. So I'm, uh, I'm a little bit off. Yeah, six sets of six. So this was, this was pretty brutal. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we got through it and it actually went okay. But getting back to what I was discussing, um, you know, people think that success is kind of a, a linear thing that you just, you put in the work and it just, you just get better and better over time. And the more work you put in, the more, the better you get. That's not how it goes. You know, success is a, it's a zigzag. <laughs> You're, you're going to be killing it, and then you're going to be screwed. <laughs> so, I mean, at, at this point, you know, I just, I have some goals for the Worlds. I mean, obviously, I want to place as high as I can. Is it possible for me to win? Probably not. Uh, the guy who won last year told 1867 he's a monster. Um, really excellent lifter. But is it possible for me to medal? Yeah, I, I think so. And so that's a goal. I would love to get the gold medal on the squat, and I would love to set the world record on squat. Uh, here we are. So this is uh, 305 for six sets of six right here. Um, so I would, I would love to get that gold, uh, that gold medal. I would love to get in squat. Uh, I have a potential medal in the deadlift as well. Obviously not bench. Team poverty bench over here. Um, and I would love to hit a PR total. But, uh, you know, just with the way things have been going, um, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be really, really hard. But that's okay. I mean, I like challenges. It's just to go into the biggest meet of your life and not feel, well, not 
that I don't feel my best, but just to not have had that perfect training block, you know, it's disheartening, but it happens. Uh, you know, my wife, she, she's always good at putting perspective, and she said, you know, you think you're the first person to have an injury going into a big meet? <laughs> and so that's, uh, she's, she's very right about that. So we're just going to grind it out and see what happens. So this is deadlift. So this is all still the same day. Squat, bench, and deadlift all on the same day. And this is 570 for four sets of six. And again, it feels like the more I'm doing these deadlifts, the, the better they're moving. Uh, I'm focusing on, you know, spreading the floor, not locking my knees too early, and, uh, and making sure I, I lock it out well. So it's funny, my first rep on deadlift is always the slowest, kind of stinks, but you know, that's why it's so important to stay in position on these lifts. Um, but you know, hopefully me talking about this doesn't sound like I'm complaining. Like I, I realize that everybody gets dinged up and, and, and overall I've had a very, very low injury rate career, so I have to be very uh, happy about that. Um, and I think a lot of people who would have had the same injury I did probably wouldn't have recovered as fast. So I have to be kind of happy about the fact that me being able to do worlds. Here's conservative max for 365. This was smooth. I felt really good about that. Uh, and then 82.5%, uh, which is 300, for five sets of five afterwards. And so uh, these felt uh, pretty good. So I did this, this session at home. Uh, I'm sorry, this is six sets of five. My fault. Uh, so six sets of five afterwards. And they felt smooth. I mean, <laughs> it's funny. I've gotten to the point where I, I do so much volume that I feel like if I can get one set, I can probably just do it to infinity. <laughs> so here's um, 605, the se second conservative max squat day. I'm sorry, first conservative max squat day this week. And they're getting smoother. That one was a little slow, but, um, you know, not terrible. It stayed in line, so I was happy about it. So then we had 82.5% for six sets of five with 500 here. And, um, you know, again, I felt like these were moving pretty good. And so I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. Um, it's just, like I said, it's kind of been a little bit of a mind screw. And I'm just going to go in, put the weight on the bar that the, the people tell me to put on there, and I'm, I'm going to do it. And that's all there is to it. Um, I just, you know, if I, if I can somehow pull out a PR total, man, I'll, I will be, <laughs> it will be one of the hardest worked for PR totals in history, just based on everything that has, has gone wrong over the last, uh, over the last few months. But, um, you know, challenges are what make life interesting. Um, now obviously, would I prefer to have a perfect, you know, six months of training leading up to this? Yeah, absolutely. But if I have something like this come up, an injury I've had to fight, suboptimal training, all that kind of stuff. Well, let's just look at it like a challenge and see what I'm really made of. That's uh, that's try to, how I try to approach these things. So the lower back has been feeling really good, actually. And uh, it's actually my hip that's been bothering me, my left hip. And so here's 580 for six sets of three. So actually my left hip has been bothering me, and um, it doesn't bother me when I lift at all. I don't feel it at all. It bothers me when I'm in a seated position, and sometimes when I sleep. So I talked to some physical therapists, and um, they gave me some really good advice. And uh, that seems to be helping a little bit. And, you know, again, just one of those things that, you know, after Worlds, and this has been instructed to me by Ben, uh, I'm going to take, not time off of lifting, but I'm going to take, you know, I'm going to back off to two or three squat sessions a week, uh, one or two deadlift sessions a week, and three bench sessions a week, and just, you know, do a little more volume and focus on really um, trying to, you know, get my body recovered and get my mind recovered too. It's been quite a grind. I mean, I've been going hard. Pretty much since Raw, since I was prepping for Raw Nationals, so over two years now, going real hard, and um, or you know preparing for meets with meets in mind. And I think I need some time just to train and uh, and let myself recover. So here's bench. Uh, this is um, three forty-five for uh, sets of three. 
four, six sets of three. And so, um, I think that I can have good meat. I think it's possible. Uh, so here's uh, 365. Again, I hit this for a conservative max. Not pr quite as fast as, as the last time. And then 300 after, or I'm sorry. And then, um, so I had to use a bunch of 35s. <laughs> But it was, uh, it ended up, the weight was 345 uh, for sets of, uh, for sets of uh, singles afterwards, for six singles. So here's uh, 640 on deadlift for triples. Um, felt pretty good today. Um, so I think I can go and have a good meet. I just have to focus and I have to build that confidence, which is what we're doing right now. Um, and like I said, deadlifts have been feeling good. So this is here at my home gym at the BioLane Lab. So on 640 for the AMREP, we got six reps, which I don't know if that's an all-time PR, but I think it's damn close. So deadlifts are feeling better and better. Um, so at least I think a, you know, around a 700-pound pull will be there um, if I need it. And, um, you know, that, that's also exciting just to be back to deadlifting again. And what's exciting also is I feel like I can lift again like I, I want to lift, which is you know, aggressively on the bar without having to worry so much about my back. <laughs> so I went down to Boca Raton uh, to watch uh, Tanya uh, compete, our friend Tanya Magrino, and uh, her and my friend Will just got engaged this weekend, and while I was there, congratulations guys, but while I was there I trained at uh, Flex Lewis's gym. Uh, Flex is a real good guy and a friend of mine. So this is 610. You can see quite a bit of forward bar travel there. Um, so it wasn't perfect, but we got it done. That's a real whippy bar I'm not used to. Um, so it wasn't optimal, but we got it done. Um, and big thanks to Flex for letting me train at the gym. Did uh, five singles with 565 afterwards. And um, it's a pretty cool experience. I know Paul dug it. All right, guys. I, uh, I think that's it for this update. And, uh, oh, one more rep. <laughs> so it was a cool experience to get to train in Flex's gym. He's a great guy. It's a private gym. Not, not just anybody can come in here. So it was, it was real cool for him to let us in. And uh, hopefully get to see more of them next time I'm down in South Florida. All right, guys. I will catch you all next time on the flip side.